again, no, stop assuming people on the right are racist. That, so you weren't specifically talking about my guest. You're saying you have to hang out with some people on the right. I am telling you right now that if you are in a whole car full of people on the left versus the people on the right, and that car breaks down. I want no the car on the right. You, like. And if I need to, and if I need to get in a foxhole. There's survivor for skill survival, people. It's not a good question. It's, it's, and this if isn't you about, are, why would you say racist? And Angela, like, if you're, and, and if you would say that you would get, you would get in a foxhole with a bunch of lefties versus a bunch of righties, then you're kidding yourself. Like, then just you, don't, just, just stop. Really? So it's right. like, you want to, don't straw don't, man don't do people that. in that way. What I mean about the people on the right, especially the libertarian minded people that are live and that live, a lot of those people know how to live on their own. And the one thing I will point out, and I will say this to Andrew, and I say this to anybody else. When we're talking about people that we associate with on the right, we do not associate with religious nutcases. I don't we associate do with do bigots and racists. Yeah. Well, what is the religious kind of right? Small government. They don't necessarily believe in a social safety net. And that is something that I work on with a lot of those people. Now, if you want to see what it actually looks like, and this is a good transition because we're limited on time, but Biden gave his State of the Union Yeah, there's a lot week. of guns. That's true, Double K. There's guns. And they gave a... There, there was a response was six minutes. from U.S. Senator Katie Britt. Don't ask me how this person's a senator, but it is what it is. So you'll I see think I might have saw this. her response. It's pretty, it's pretty enlightening what happens when you know people want to make fun of the right. Well, this is easy pickings here. President Biden's border policies are a disgrace. This crisis is despicable. Was she coached before she got in front of the camera? Well, she is right. It coached. is despicable, and his policies are a disgrace. So, so far, I agree with her. Keep going. And the truth is, it is almost entirely preventable. The American family that. needs to have a tough conversation because the truth is, we're what? all worried about the future of our nation. The country we know and love seems to be slipping away, and it feels like the next generation will have fewer opportunities and less freedoms than we did. I worry my own children may not even get a shot at living their American dreams. There's no doubt we're at a crossroads, and it doesn't have to to be this okay way. i think i've seen enough all right i think i've seen enough of the stepford she's like a stepford like it's out of like a commercial from the 80s it looks like she's doing a sitcom commercial or something from the 80s but she's like a stepford wife like but, how but that's... i don't disagree with her well sure but how does somebody like this get to the u.s senate i think is the question like well, what is it really is she just from? take a guess i can't what guess? well she doesn't sound it but she's from alabama so oh. she's a U.S. senator well, in Alabama. And the only reason I say what state is some states have very, very small populations. And so it doesn't really require that many people to vote. Like, for example, like Wyoming. Well, according to her circumstance, the reason, again, not judging, but her husband is like an Alabama football legend. Oh, like OK. So there it is. So there is. So it's the element. name. Don't okay. want to take anything away. No, but, it's the know, name. That well, name is matters. But yeah, she we'll does not come off like a senator. She comes off like some like really like a kind of grade B commercial actor. You know what the amazing thing is, oh, Kat, is horrible. that Tuberville makes her look great. That's how bad it is in Alabama. <laughs> so let's, let's, oh, let's finish this up. I'll feel it. But here's the good news. I cannot. We, the people are still in the driver's seat. We get to decide whether our future will grow brighter or whether She's we'll try to get us to join a cult. America in decline. She is frightening so you have this nice potion that she'll ask you to drink uh here so it is she's probably some pageant person yes. that he married or whatever and so she's doing her pageant interview would you like some potion it'll make you better it'll no, make you look like her. i don't want to look like her. and remember she's wearing a cross yeah, so that must be right we she's... gotta stop we yes. gotta stop we're done i can't look at her anymore and so so she's really trying to let you know that you know her heart's in the right place and she sees you she has her she cross she has her you. cross yes and just in case you were concerned. Green, what does the green represent? Is she Irish? I don't know. No, I don't. Uh, well, Katie Britt? No, that sounds Irish. So. Well, not just that. Also, maybe because it was St. Patrick's Day recently. Who the hell knows? No, I don't it know. wasn't. St. Patrick's Day is this upcoming Sunday. Oh, so and then that's why do she's something. doing we're it. Okay, okay do so something. then I don't even so. know because I'm not. So that's why she maybe she was wearing green. It's for, and we're coming up to St. Patrick's Day. There it is. See, I don't uh, even know. I would say... Um, I do. I, I'm really digging the Irish right now, though. Well, it, it's something, Robert, it's something about the eyes. You know, the eyes speak and well, they're she's, telling you. I feel like she looks yes. like she's giving her pageant interview. 
Yes, well, she she's is going to walk. She's giving a pageant yeah. interview, and isn't everything so pleasant? And also very culty. Like, hi, would you take this flower? I've got one for you. Just <laughs> joy. Creepy. Well, you know. <laughs> oh, double K, double we K. Love you. We love you. you know, there was a uh, one of the best Simpsons episodes, and this was from one of the last seasons that was really great. You had <laughs> green is the color. <laughs> That's gang green, you jerk. No, green is the color of certain fungus. That's true, but I think that's what he was referencing. There's, I she don't think, think so. she's gang green. Uh, I don't think so. She was just saying, he was just saying fungus. Yes, it is. But here's the thing. It's not even so much her words. It's the way that it's delivered. It's like, who in the hell was coaching this person to talk that way? I mean, look, we all, remember, we all remember when Rubio in 2012. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's... That's the type of stuff, but Double Case, right? There is the whole <sighs> Southern oh. Baptist, assuming she's a Baptist, I could be wrong. She could be a Protestant, whatever. She's part of the Protestant faith. There is this, it's again, the Stepford Wife robotic, good. antebellum type stuff that is, it's scary. Like, it, it, and when you want to talk about. It's like a pod person. And now I would say to somebody like, you don't like my music. Now, if you want to talk about somebody who, again, I don't know, but the culture is very what you would call bigoted. Is that th there is an element of that in the antebellum South? Oh, yeah, for sure. That's what that now that's real. That's that's what real. I'm saying. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.